After a disappointing end to FC Cincinnati's season, most of us knew there would be some sad departures. Alfaro Barreal, Junior Moreno, and Santiago Arreas are all most likely gone, and Dom Badgie is officially gone. But no departure is bigger than Brandon Vasquez. As you all probably know, Vasquez leaves as one of the best players in FC Cincinnati's short but storied history and is our MLS franchise leader in goals. But the stats do not do Brandon Vasquez justice. So today, I want to talk about what Brandon Vasquez has meant to the city of Cincinnati, both on and off the field. Vasquez was originally acquired by FC Cincinnati after Nashville drafted him in the 2019 expansion draft and traded him to Cincy for 150 k in allocation money. Hearing that today sounds kind of crazy, but before Vasquez had his breakout year in 2022, he was seen as an okay young forward that could give you decent minutes off the bench. He had actually split time in USL with Atlanta's USL affiliate. But in 39 appearances with Atlanta United from 2017 to 2019, Vasquez scored just 9 goals across all competitions. Once he was traded to Cincinnati, not much changed. FC Cincinnati were dead last in the standings. And from 2020 to 2021, across all competitions, Brandon Vasquez scored just 6 goals in 50 appearances. But in 2022, that all changed. You probably already know about how FC Cincinnati brought in Pat Noonan and Chris Albright, but I want to take a look at how weird the start of this season was for Vasquez. FC Cincinnati had a nightmarish opening to the season, losing 5-0 to Austin, and then next week they lost 1-0 to DC United. Most FC Cincinnati fans were all thinking the same thing. Here we go again, another last place finish and another embarrassing year where we compete for our fourth wooden spoon. But then something special happened. Against Orlando City, Brandon Vasquez scored two goals to secure a win for FC Cincinnati. He then did the same thing against Inter Miami with an assist to go along with it in a 3-1 win. After this game, when asked about his success, he mentioned that he had a stack of pancakes that morning for breakfast. And from that moment forward, a legend was born. And every legend needs a signature goal celebration, right? Well, Vasquez has a very fitting one, the Superman celebration. He was the hero that FC Cincinnati needed. On a team with Lucho Acosta and hometown hero Nick Hagland, Brandon Vasquez was the biggest star of them all, as he helped lead Cincinnati to their first ever playoff appearance in MLS. And in FC Cincinnati's first playoff game against Red Bull New York, Cincy was down 1-0 going into the second half. But after a penalty was converted by Lucho, the game was tied. And in heroic fashion, Superman saved the day for FC Cincinnati, scoring the game-winning goal in the 86th minute. But FC Cincinnati would go on to lose in the second round to Philadelphia. Despite that, Brandon still had a great season. He scored 20 goals in 37 appearances across all competitions. He was also named an All-Star and was selected to MLS's Best 11. And this past year, while he didn't score as much in MLS competitions, he still had 17 goals across all competitions for FC Cincinnati, including a hat-trick against Chivas in League's Cup. While his individual accolades weren't really there in 2023, he was still a star on the best team in MLS. But it's not even necessarily about the stats or accolades. Brandon Vasquez kicked off the best era of FC Cincinnati in their MLS history. He helped bring this club to new heights. Yes, he helped win matches, but he was the poster child for FC Cincinnati. With everything from his signature celebration to his work ethic, Brandon Vasquez had it all. He was at his best when Cincinnati needed him most. He was a dependable player that fit how Pat Noonan wanted to play. Totaling 35 goals and 18 assists in 141 appearances for FC Cincinnati over his whole career. Now, becoming a Cincinnati sports hero is not necessarily easy. In a city that has seen some dark times, Vasquez helped pull them out of it. Obviously, Joe Burrow has had a bigger influence on most of Cincinnati, and recently Ellie De La Cruz has had a big impact as well. But soccer is still a big deal in Cincinnati. It's not some secondary sport. FC Cincinnati matters to a lot of people in the same way that the Bengals and Reds do. 
I'm happy to see Brandon Vasquez doing well with Monterey, but what he did with Cincinnati should not be forgotten anytime soon. It's sad that he wasn't able to leave as an MLS Cup champion, but this Supporters Shield winning season was the best in this franchise's history. One day, I hope to see the number 19 retired in TQL Stadium, or see Brandon's name in the Ring of Honor. Whichever one FC Cincinnati decides to do, it's a good decision. But yeah, I mean, I made a my my first FC Cincinnati video, or one of the first ones on this channel, was when Brandon Vasquez started to break out and do really well. And it was just great to see that FC Cincinnati was becoming a team that mattered again and a team that could actually make the playoffs after such a difficult start to MLS. I remember after that loss to Austin that there were people saying this is why relegation should be in MLS and that FC Cincinnati didn't deserve to be in MLS and that we were a terrible franchise and then all this and that. And then for that season, for us to go to the playoffs and actually win a game against an established team like Red Bull New York, it was just really cool to see, especially after like I was pretty optimistic going into that season. I, I was thinking like a ninth place finish. I was not thinking playoffs. But Brandon Vasquez just really helped get us over the top. So he he just matters so much to this franchise. And I felt it was only fitting to make a video about how much he did matter with him leaving. I know it's a bit late because him leaving happened a while ago. But I still wanted to make this video. Also, the support with the Dylan Larkin video has been crazy. I've gotten a decent amount of uh, flack for that. But I expected that because it's, it's a pretty controversial topic. But... The, the support's been great reached 700 subscribers wasn't expecting that i just woke up and saw i was like oh okay that's weird i think that video alone right now has gotten me like 65 subscribers it's got um 1.5k watch hours it's somewhere around 30,000 views it's the most viewed uh video on this channel it's the most liked the most commented it's it's basically the most everything on this channel so i really appreciate all the support that y'all have had it's been great but yeah, I'm Limitless Pulls. I'll see you guys next time. But you get the mix right. Nigga, put it in the blender. Hell yeah, I'm Wingstop. Put that little chicken tender. It's like the beef with energy and water like Kimber. Hey, turning, looking like dinner. It's like I got the bag, boy or girl. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs>